Hello, lovely people, it is July 1st, which means it's been exactly a month since I filmed my June 1st video, which was my before video. Hi, my name is Brenda, if you're new here, and I'm a singer-songwriter, but I definitely am more songwriter than I am singer. And I wanted to make those terms a little more equal. So since June 1st, I decided that I'm gonna take online singing lessons and try my best to get better at singing. If you've watched my videos, you've probably thought or have seen some comments where people make comments about the way I sing. And that's okay, I'm not going to stop even if everybody says that I sound bad. But you know, I'd like less of those comments. And I'd also really like to be proud of my recordings when I record my songs. I currently don't have the money to go out and hire a professional voice coach. Plus, there's that whole pandemic thing going on. So I decided I would take a relatively inexpensive online lesson. And I chose something called the 30 Day Singer. This is not an ad, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So I decided I'd take lessons with the 30 Day Singer and every single day in June, I would commit to taking one of these online lessons to try to improve my skills. Before I started, I recorded a video of me singing a song that I knew was challenging for myself. It's called When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish and like, oh my gosh, it's a hard one to sing. But I figured it would really show all of my weaknesses and the places in my voice that I want to improve. So I finished the before video, I took the lessons, and now I'm in the after video. If you have any specific questions about the 30 Day Singer program, please feel free to comment them below. I plan to make some more content about the 30 Day Singer course specifically, and hopefully I'll be able to try out more courses throughout this fun time of 2020. And then I can also tell you guys what my favorite one is. So a little bit about the 30 Day Singer before I jump into my before and after videos. Basically it's a subscription program. So I paid $30 and then I got it for one month and now it's going to renew and I think I'm going to keep it for another month. When you first log in, there's different modules. So you can say like beginner courses or advanced courses. I have no formal training so I started with the beginner courses. Each lesson was only about 15 minutes and like there were some pros and cons. Some lessons I thought were way better than others, but overall it was a pretty good experience. My my personal self-assessment is that I still have a long way to go in order to improve my singing to the level that I want it to be. But that being said, I learned a lot by taking this course. First of all, it forced me to practice singing and practice singing warm-ups every single day. That was new for me. Usually I just start singing. In fact, I pretty much never sing warm-ups. I'm kind of embarrassed to admit that every time I sing, I just like open my mouth and start singing. <laughs> so it was really good to practice some stretching, breathing, and vocal exercises to help get me warmed up. And just the act of doing it every single day, I think was really good for me. It was also really fun and really grounding and it was really nice during this like rocky time of, you know, a global pandemic. But one of the things that I think I learned is that I figured out what I want to work on. So before I took the course, I kind of was just like, oh, I'm bad at high notes. Oh, I'm not really a good singer. And I really wasn't specific about the things that I struggled in and what I wanted to improve upon. But after taking this course, I definitely learned what I specifically want to work on. One of the first things I noticed was my overall confidence, especially when singing around another person or around a camera. Hello, camera. I also realized that I don't have really long endurance when it comes to phrasing. And what I mean by that is my last note in a phrase is often pretty weak and kind of falls off. I did realize that I wanted to work on high notes, but more specifically, my head voice register. And I learned a ton of exercises to practice that. I also noticed the difference in the way my singing felt when I focused more on my breathing. And then a big one for me is the confidence and the posture. You might notice in my before video that I look nervous. I'm kind of looking all over the room like, eh, don't look at me. <laughs> and one of the things I couldn't help but notice while watching that video was that when I didn't have something to cover me up, I just kind of crunched up my shoulders, kind of like sunk. And especially, I didn't know what to do with my hands. I did a lot of like, like, what am I doing? Like, come on. <laughs> so these are just a couple of the things that I really realized I wanted to improve on when I was working on my singing. And they're also the things that I want to continue working on as I move forward. Okay, that's enough rambling. I'm going to show you guys the before video and the after video. I'm probably going to cut up the before video so you don't have to watch the entire thing. And I'll make sure I show you some of the parts where my weaknesses really showed through. All right, here it goes. Don't you know I'm no good
Let's just let it go. I could lie and say I like it like that, like it like that. Oh, it's so cringy to watch myself. I really don't like hearing myself sing. Hopefully this one's a little bit better and hopefully I'll continue with my learning process and be able to show you guys a difference a year from now. But in the meantime, here's my one month difference after taking lessons every single day for 30 days. I actually warmed up this time because I know how to do that now. <laughs> Hopefully that was a little better. Let me know if you think there was any improvement. I think that I definitely improved and if nothing else, I definitely got more aware and got in the habit of practicing singing every single day. So I'd call it an overall success. It would be more of a success if you subscribed though. Again, I'm not saying that I'm some amazing singer now. I know I still have a long way to go, but I am really glad that I did this experience and if you have any questions about it, I'd love to give you some answers about it. So feel free to comment below and make sure you like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that in another year I'll be able to show you more progress.